All right, I'm going to pretend we've got this all nice and clean now, and we're ready to put our teeth in. We want to put the teeth in before we narrow up the, the shaft. The reason is it's easier to fit in the vise when this is still solid. So we want to do our teeth. Now, if your piece was cut right, it should be exactly one inch. Okay, it is set up this way so you have your different teeth. Every quarter inch, come in on a quarter inch, put a long mark at an eighth of short. At, so you have a short mark at one eighth, long at a quarter, short at three eighths, long at a half, short at five eighths, long at three quarters short at seven eighths. You want to make sure you're right on the money, nice and clean with those, because your teeth will not look proper if that is not right. All right, so you can see on the long ones, what we're trying to do is the long ones will be the valleys, the short ones will be the points. So we're going to make a tooth like that. Tooth, tooth, tooth. And we're trying to keep them nice and even. Just to review, we put our short mark at an eighth, long mark at a quarter. Short mark at three eighths, long mark at a half, short mark at five eighths, long mark at three quarters, short mark at seven eighths. Okay, at the long marks, which would be your quarters, we're going to put our file on. You want to find one that is pretty aggressive on the edge. You want to put that right on those long marks and make sure you're straight in line on your back scratcher, not off diagonally. I like to use my thumb kind of as a guide here to make sure I keep it nice and straight. Now I'm going to tilt my file out about at a 60 degree angle and I'm not going to put very much down pressure, just a little bit real light. And I'm going to round it because I want my teeth to be nice and round on my back scratcher. I don't want to just sit here flat. I want to round it. So far I'm doing a good job of keeping it nice and even. I'm going to bring it down. I want to make sure I don't hit down here with the file and scar it up down there. Okay, now let's go in that same groove, doing a 60 the other way. Now I'm not going to get very carried away and do very much. Let's do a 60 on the outside. Okay, you see how that's starting to shape a tooth? I'll go to the next long one. Again, make sure I'm in line. Use my thumb kind of as a guide. Put it on about a 60. Light down pressure, just enough to cut. Round it. Oop, just a little bit. That shouldn't be a problem because it's not deep yet. I'm putting a little more down pressure because my cutting stroke is very short. I'm going to do same groove, 60 going the other way. See how we're starting to shape those teeth now? You can see this one. 
Um, I want to kind of bring it this way a little bit to try to balance it up. Let's go ahead and start our next one. You do your 60 here, 60 there, and 60 on your outside to sharp shape those teeth. All right, now your grooves aren't very deep at all, but you can kind of compare your teeth to see. You can see this one just a tiny bit off smaller than this one. So it tells me we want to kind of push this side a little bit this way to take because this one's bigger. So let's take it just a little bit off of that. So far they're looking pretty smooth. So push it this way just a little bit. When you're filing in that groove like that, and go ahead and finish off your grooves. All right, here's where I'm happy with mine. You can see I am a little bit bigger on this one. This outside is by far the smallest. These two are pretty even, then this one's a little bit bigger. So I'm a little bit off. It's pretty hard to get them just right on the money. Okay, now I do not want to bring them, if you can see it on there, to a sharp, sharp point. I leave it about 90% of a point, so it's actually still a little bit flat on the very top, not a sharp point.